Friendly greetings, Toralee Linden here, and boy do I have a treat for you today. I've had a lot of requests over time about how to play YouTube videos in Second Life. And it's previously been kind of convoluted. There's been a lot of steps to do it, like you gotta convert it, then upload it to a web server. The good news is, though, let me type in a search query which will show you what I'm talking about. Download YouTube videos as MP4 files. And the top match, or one of the top ones, should be this page from the Google System unofficial blog. Because what changed recently, as you'll see when I click through, is that YouTube is making MP4 files, which are QuickTime playable, available. That's their high quality mode. You may have seen that. Now, a caveat is that they do have a sound distortion bug, which I've reported to them several times, and I'm hoping to get some resolution on that. But in the meantime, it's better than having nothing, and it's certainly simpler than doing the whole hokey pokey of conversion and upload and so on and so forth. So, on this page, what you're going to notice is there's a bookmarklet. And you can just click and drag this to your browser bar. This is the button that you're going to press when you go to a YouTube video that you want to get the address for. All right. So now let's head to YouTube.com. And of course, being me, I will type in Torley. This is a great example of my video tutorials. Just click search. You don't need to be signed in or anything. You'll see right here, Torley's video tutorials. You can learn Second Life in a fun and fast fashion. That's exactly what I advertise. <laughs> so just click through there, and then you'll notice I'll start playing this video. Friendly, cool, and on my channel, please subscribe if you like my videos. It'll help me to make more of them for you, Teach You Second Life. I know this isn't official colors, but they get embedded into the official blog anyway. <laughs> so now let's go ahead and just click through there. And let's see, it got a lot of videos, a lot of stuff. Let's pick this one though, okay? So this or any YouTube video, you just got to go to the page of it and you'll see it on the left here. And then, of course, it'll play. As seen in Second, in seen in second Life. <laughs> and what you do now is you click this Get YouTube Video. Click that button. And right here, you notice it says Download as MP4. Well, instead of downloading, we're going to stream it right from YouTube servers. And please, my gosh, don't do anything that would break my heart. I'd be very disappointed in you. But I would be very happy if you do this and that you celebrate Multimedia in Second Life. Now, right click and you want to copy link location or something similar because you'll notice when I go up here to the address bar and paste it. Now, we're not going to play it from here. That won't work, but we're going to play it from Second Life. So paste it and you'll notice it's this crazy, it's got this crazy string of stuff and it's not really human readable, but that's what we need to put into Second Life. So come, follow me into Second Life and get on a parcel where you can change the parcel media. Now, we've logged into Second Life, and you need to be on a parcel that you owned or is group owned, but you have the ability to change. Go up here to About Land in the Media tab. You must be able to change the media URL. So if it's group owned, you need to have the group ability in a role which possesses that. And you'll know that if you can click in these or not. Because what we need to do next, step by step, is let's make a movie screen. Let's replace this texture Click that right there and just look for default because there is already one in the library. Just use default media texture. That's a quick way to get started and just select that. It needs to be a unique texture that's nowhere else in the parcel except for objects that you want to be used as media screens. So let's minimize that for a moment and I'm going to right click the ground and create. And this is going to be our new media screen. Click the ground, left click it once, and then from object here, let's make this big, so 10 meters there, and then 10 meters there, like that. And you can see it's already starting to look like a screen. Actually, I want to change the aspect ratio of this to 7.5, so it's 4 to 3. That's like a standard television aspect ratio. It's not totally square, it's kind of like a rectangle, and I'm just clicking and dragging on these arrowheads to reposition it. Now I can go back to, actually not yet, I'm going to go to the Texture tab, and because it's plywood, we're going to want to change this. So click this and change it to default media texture. The same thing. So select it. It looks a bland gray for now. 
but it's the same and it'll be enlivened as a movie screen as soon as we do the next step. So let's maximize this about land again. Actually, I clicked off of it, so I'm going to need to, if it's grayed out falsely like that, you're going to need to refresh it by clicking here. So there we go. It's back on. And the media URL, this is what's the most important. Remember that URL we had earlier? Now that's the time you copy and paste it from your web browser in YouTube into Second Life. So let me go get that, and I'm going to copy it, and then I'm going to paste it in here by choosing Set, the Set button, and then going to Edit Menu and Paste, or just simply Control-V. So Control-V, and there it is, and OK that. That's what we want, and it should recognize it as video MP4 if it doesn't automatically. In second life. It's playing. But wait, if you act now. So there we have it. That was pretty easy. There are a few other things. If it looks a bit off, then you'll want to auto scale it. That's also useful. That's on. And also, if it's not showing as movie, you're going to need to manually select this media type. So now, if I zoom in closer, by the way, and then I'm going to play it again. And there we go. In second life. But wait. And the screen looks a bit dark. You can adjust that by right click, edit, and you can set to full bright there for consistent brightness. Voila, just like that. You can make it glow. There's fancy things. That's the fun of having, you can make it transparent. That's usually not necessary, but in case you want to do some multimedia art installation exhibit, as I have done in the past. Let's look at a quick one more example of that from YouTube and bring it back into Second Life, just so you're very clear on doing this and you can do it yourself. All right, so we're back in Firefox, my web browser of choice. Go to YouTube.com, we are here now, and search for a video you're interested in. And one thing I should note, I tested many videos, and quite a few of them work, but not all of them do. It seems like they weren't converted to the new format that I mentioned. So try them out. There's literally millions and millions, and unfortunately I wish that all of them did work consistently. But in any case, you can type in something like, say, I'm in a hankering for Don King. <laughs> my power lies in my people ties. And search, and then you'll find a bunch of videos. So just basically click any one, like this one, and then it starts playing here. That's Flash Hi. Video. So that link will not work directly. But remember what we did? We got this bookmarklet to make it easy. Click that, and then right click and copy the link location. Hop back into Second Life. Go up here to About Land in the Media tab and set the media URL, delete the old one, and paste in the new one, and OK that. And then play it. And here we go. And, he's and it works. As well as anyone in the business. <laughs> Only in Second Life. <laughs>